Hello, hello, and thanks for coming to the Trusty Huckster Mercantile Shop Hop. If you haven't purchased from me before, go on over to Vintagerous.com and register, please, so that I have the information I need to send you a PayPal invoice. It's $8 shipping to the U.S. or Canada when you spend a minimum of $30. Less than that, I just charge you the regular shipping rate. Invoices go out Tuesday, you pay Thursday, or sorry, you pay Wednesday, and it ships out Thursday. My next live sale will be Tuesday, March the 21st at 6 p.m. Pacific on this channel. And after this, go on over to Thrifties, Thrifting Adventures as Stephanie will be on next, and she'll have some great stuff. And you can also check out the whole list of everybody that's in the sh in the hop sale uh, it's in the description of this video so you can just click on all the links and check everybody out so without further ado let's get started so the first thing that i have to show you are these absolutely sweet little cupcake decorations i think they're cupcake decorations or cake decorations aren't they sweet i'm thinking these are pretty darn old i'm guessing what, 40s, 50s? What do you think? Very, very sweet. They are $9. $9 and the letter C. The letter C in the comments gets you this bunny and this chick. Next, I have a really cool hand-blown glass ornament. Just gorgeous. Look at this guy. Isn't he sweet? Now you know why I'm doing this without showing you me because these things are so detailed. I really wanted you to get a good look at them. So this is a very collectible, hand-blown German uh, Easter egg ornament. Really, really sweet. Really different. $21. The letter F. The letter F for Frank in the chat or in the comments, please. And the next thing is I've got some tablecloths and I've got absolutely gorgeous tablecloths. So there's the, here's the first one. Let's open it up so you can sort of see. It is a square. Um, and in, so this is what ha is on the corners, the cross stitch. And then in the center, it's kind of a ring of, um, of these other flowers. Just gorgeous, just so sweet, right? So then it goes all the way around like that. And so this guy is a square and it is 32 inches square. It is $18, $18. And it is the letter L, the letter L for lovely, because it truly is lovely. And it'll be perfect for your Easter table or springtime decor. You know, little, you could put it on a small table or a tape or a um, like a sideboard then i have this lovely um, tablecloth now it's bigger it's 40 inches square and it has this morning glory design on each of the four corners and have a look at this a beautiful beautiful crocheted uh, edge on it so it's all been hand stitched it is absolutely gorgeous and it's that nice kind of heavy crisp white cotton really really nice so this one is um, 40, 40 inches square. It is $21 and it's the letter D, the letter D for delicious because it's a delicious tablecloth. Okay. Next, we have an oval egg plate and I've actually got it full of, full of goodies right now. So let me just pull those off because you can kind of see what it can be used for, right? To, to um, you can use it to display any kind of decorative eggs that you've got it's perfect for that let's just see if these eggs will roll away if i <laughs> take them off here okay so this is what what's up next now it's got a couple of little bits of damage so it's got a little bit of a chip here you can see that little bit of paint loss there and then there's one other one over here that somebody's kind of colored in so just letting you know but it is a really cool old piece like spaces for your eggs, spaces for the salt and pepper. And it's um, Japanese. There's the, um, what is it called? Gift Craft, I think it's called, is the, is the uh, maker on that. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong there. 
So now this egg plate, this oval egg plate is $12 because of the damage, $12, love the letter H for heavenly, because it's a heavenly egg plate. And then I've got some East German paper mache eggs. And I was shocked when I found out how uh, valuable these can be. This is cute with the little hedgehog and the little um, mouse. Yes, they're having a bath. There you go. And now this one it doesn't line up perfectly, but I think if you put some, some elastics around it, you can maybe get it to, to reshape a little bit better. And then there's this one. So it's like a duck band. <laughs> this one fits together really quite nice. They're both marked East Germany. Um, so it's the set of two of them and they, Nicely kind of fit inside each other for storage, which is really nice. And uh, and so these guys together as a set, is the large and small, $21, the letter N. The letter N, if you'd like these. N, N for nice, because it's a couple of nice Easter eggs, okay, for your decor. Um. Insulated egg cups are up next. So this is what we've got next, is we've got these two very Art Deco egg cups. And if you look inside, they are insulated. So they've got this kind of like felt lining. They're made in England. You can sort of see that there, made in England. Just very cool Art Deco egg cups. And again, they'd be cute either using them practically or you can always use them in decor by just opening them up and putting an egg in there like that. Okay, so these two uh, insulated egg cups are $12. The letter A, the letter A for absolutely fantastic. Okay, so those, put those in your, on your Easter display. Now, I've got this set of five wooden eggs. So you've seen these a bit. I've given you a sneak peek, but they're really cool. So this one like has reds and greens and golds, really pretty. Like this one has like a heron on it, right? Some flowers. This one, it's kind of a stylized butterfly and flowers. And then I've got a black one is it black or yeah it's black with pink and red really really pretty and then this one it's kind of purple and then it's got beautiful colorful flowers love this one so those five eggs the wooden eggs hand painted 26 dollars the letter p the letter p for pretty painted Pretty painted eggs. They're just so fun. They're fun to collect too um, and use in your Easter decor. Okay. Let's now look at um, some an Easter cup and saucer. I found this and it just totally made me flash back to my childhood. I'm sure I had something like this in the past now the one thing is it's porcelain and this edge is really kind of sharp and rough i would not want to drink from that japan so i would use it only for decor just warning you there so it's also marked japan on the bottom there's the saucer so i'm going to pair this up with some ducks right um and so the easter here's some easter ducks to add to your decor too so we've got a yellow uh sort of a yellow guy he's got his his neck oh is that a crack in his neck you know what i think he does have a bit of a crack in his neck but it's not a repair because it doesn't go all the way around so just to be aware that he's got a bit of a crack there so whoops so there's the the, the yellow duck there's this orange duck and he's a really sweet guy too, orange duck. And there's a 
pink and blue, pink and turquoise duck. Also part of this little set. So this whole set of the ducks and the cup and saucer, $18, letter J. J for J Joni's Delights. <laughs> J for Joni's Delights. Okay, then we have a tea towel and some cookie cutters. So we've got two of the old red plastic cookie cutters. I love these cookie cutters. Oh my gosh, I always buy them when I see them because they're just so fun. Looks like Porky Pig and a neat little rabbit. So those two cookie cutters and this tea towel that has eggs on it. And the brand is, what is the brand on it? Continental? Oh, Cottontail. Cottontail Lane. <laughs> Very appropriate name for a East for Easter. Uh, tea towel. So that the tea towel and the two cookie cutters, six dollars, six dollars, and the letter R R for for rabbit. There we go. R for rabbit. <laughs> R for rabbit. Okay. Then we have a rabbit figurine. So he's a simple guy. He's a simple guy, but he's a cutie. Look at those pink ears. Look at that pink nose. Very cute. Not marked, but he's just a sweetheart. And I thought he would look really cute. Like, just see how he looks so cute there. And my table's very uneven, so don't think that it's the. It's probably more my table than it is the the ornament for it being wobbly there. Uh, so the rabbit figurine is nine dollars, and it's letter B. B for bunny. B for bunny. Hello, I'm coming home to you. <laughs> okay, bunny, you go take a hike there because it's time for something else. What is next in line? Chick and egg, salt and pepper. Chick and egg, salt and pepper. Oh yes. Here we go. So there is the chicken egg, salt and pepper. Isn't this sweet? Doesn't this remind you of like a rubber ducky? Mark Japan, very cute. And guess what? This is the salt, the or, and this is the pepper, right? Isn't that sweet? I love that little set. Okay, so that uh, salt, check and egg, salt and pepper, $9, the letter M. The letter M for marvelous. Okay. And that's a chicken egg. Bunnies in a basket. I've got some bunnies in a basket next. Again, salt and pepper. Kind of got some salt and peppers today. So it's just a salt and pepper. This is a little bunny with some ears. And he's, I think he's got a pink, yeah, he's got a pink bow tie. She's got a, well, gender neutral, right? So it's whatever has a pink bow tie. And there is a blue bow tie on this guy. Um, and so, and they just kind of sit on the edge of the basket like that. Isn't that cute? And did I see it was marked, marked made in Taiwan. Um, so that's that. So those bunnies in a basket, $9, the letter G for gorgeous, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okay. Bunnies in a basket. Then I have some bisque. Oh, a bisque porcelain kitschy hatching chick and chicks. Boop a doop a doo. Boop a doop a doo. Now, cuteness overload, right? Look at these guys. Look at that face. So cute. Well, I guess this one's missing its stopper. I'll see if I can find it. Um, very cute. And then this one has his stopper. Again, there's the two different little colors, so you can tell the salt from the pepper. Very cutey, cute, cute, cutey, kitschy, coo. <laughs> okay, so those are the bisque porcelain kitschy hatching, but blah, kitschy hatching chicken salt and pepper is nine dollars, and the letter Q for queens. 
They are queens of cute. Okay, queens of cute. Q in the comments if you'd like those. Um, and then I have some Catholic stuff. I have some Catholic stuff. I just bought a lot of Catholic um, bits and pieces, and it they're really interesting. I love them. The first thing is this medallions lot. So it's a whole bunch of different uh, medallions. Uh, so really cool. So I'll put them in here, and then I'll show you them one by one. So here's one here. It's a little photograph. A little photograph. Very sweet. That's the first one. There's another kind of photograph. Now these, uh, this lot, a lot of the um, pieces were from the 30s and the 40s, um, even as early as the 20s. Some are French. Um, some were from Switzerland I saw in this lot. So really interesting. So if you like kind of Catholic um, pieces, you will love these. They're fun to kind of look at and see what they are. That one almost, that almost felt like it was silver. So I might be giving you a really amazing deal here. Really cool pieces. I think there was about 20 of them in total. Really neat little medallions. Very cool. And the last one. So this whole lot of medallions here is $21 and the letter K, the letter K. The letter K for it's okay to want these. Okay. Okay. And then I have a set of two pieces of Catholic um, decor. So this is like a little shrine to Mary in an egg in a gold lame egg. Isn't that amazing? Oh, love that. Very kind of fragile inside, but uh, really cool on the outside. And then to go with that, I have some prayer cards. I'll be putting some up on Etsy too, because I got a huge lot of all sorts of things like this. And there's some really cool ones that I'll be putting up on Etsy too. So this one... This one says Litho in USA, nothing on the back on that. Then there's this one, St. Jude. And this one says, see here, copyright 1936. See that? Um, and then there's this one and it's in French. I won't, um, let's see, Hez Lam qui le spirit is signe visite a son matin il levich des de ses dons et la prepare a tout le grand acte de levi. I probably butchered that, but anyway, <laughs> there you go. Whoops. So the, um, Mary Shrine in a Lame Egg, and these cards, uh, the set of that is $15, $15, and the letter S, the letter S for spirit, the letter S. And then, and then I have something truly, truly, truly special. Now, this is a really unique piece and great if you love rhinestone jewelry, but it's a spendy one. But I thought it'd be fun to put it in as a kind of finale. So 
What's in the box? What's in the box is a beautiful Heidi Dawes rhinestone brooch. Look at that. Look at that Easter brooch. You will be the talk of the town if you are wearing this Heidi Dawes Easter brooch. You can see there, let's see if the camera focus here, but it does say Heidi Dawes and CN. Uh, Heidi Dawes brooches, really good quality. She often uses Swarovski crystals um, in her designs. Just beautiful, very collectible. And $149, $149. I will throw in the shipping on this. $149, the letter T. The letter T and free shipping at $149. So you can add that to your collection. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining the Huckster Hop. I hope you'll hop on over to Stephanie now and check out what she's got in store. And do check out the list in my profile to let you know, or in the profile to this, this uh, sale. And it'll give you all the links to go to all the other sales. So happy, happy buying, and we will see you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye now.